hello hello guys uh welcome to my youtube channel guys uh please uh today i just want to share this recipe with you guys uh without any charge okay so i i'm just going to give away this because i have a good heart i want you guys whoever that is this video is very helpful for you i want you to pass mess lead. i want you to have at least a pass and in the past that i'm going to guarantee you here with this what i'm going to share with you today i am telling you it's not just a pass but it's going to be a great pass so tune in and then go with me step by step on how i'm what i'm going to share with you okay so make sure that if you did not subscribe to it this youtube channel you subscribe you like and then you share with your friends or whoever this video might be helpful for okay let's tune in guys what i'm going to share with you today i've come up this is my own recipe my own recipe because why am i saying this i want to own it because you know uh when you enjoy a subject you turn out to have more understanding of it and you also have more strategies on how to win you understand so i've also sat down and looked at the loophole of of mess lead okay so i've also come up with the things that are going to make you to pass mess lead. they are easy i'm telling you you have been seeing them but you were not aware of them okay so let me break them down for you okay this i'm going to, i'm going to call this uh the, my golden tips okay so what is important is what i'm going to give you the tips and i'm also going to give you what the strategies and uh, on how to pass your mess lead i'm going to tell you how to pass this i'm going to tell you that if you're going to pass you're not just going to be a pass it's going to be a very good pass okay the strategy is founded by the guru himself i am the guru himself for mess lead okay no one has to tell me that i know okay uh let's go on on this guys are uh, you going to write paper one and paper two okay I'm just going to break it down first like this paper one and paper two here so both papers we're talking about uh 150 marks and we both talk about three hours you're going to write for three hours okay and in the marks we talk about 150 marks okay so in paper one these are the topics that you're going to focus on okay you're going to focus on number one you're going to focus on finance number two you're going to focus on data handling okay number three you're going to focus on probability all right so when you are studying i want you to know that when you prepare for paper one, you have to know that finance will take, uh, finance on its own will take plus minus 60% of that paper. Okay. Then data handling is going to take plus minus 35%. Okay. And when you talk about probability is going to take plus minus 5% of paper one. Okay. Then let me throw a borderline here. Because I'm gonna go into into paper two. So in paper two, which topics are we talking about? And let me write topics again here. Number one, we talk about uh measurements. Measurements. And number two, we talk about maps and plans okay then number three we talk about probability so probability goes into papers okay so when we we, we we talk about the the measurements in paper number two how many percent are we looking at we are looking at plus minus 60 percent when you talk about maps and plans we talk about plus minus 35 percent when you talk about probability, we talk about plus minus 5%. Okay. So 
okay so th this is how you go when you prepare you know which topics you must study for for paper one and which topics to study for paper two but here i've just summarized everything you must know that finance we talk about financial documents we talk about the income and expenditures because we talk about the cost price the selling price the break-even point the profit margin like all those things okay we talk about the exchange rate we talk about inflation we talk about taxation we talk about the tariff system so those are part of the finance so i'm just i just said finance here we talk about the loan and banking interest we talk about those this is part of finance so when you talk about data handling you know data handling you know what i like is a very short topic where it goes by the process from process one of of uh developing your developing your, your questions up until the last process of representing your data okay so that's what we talk about now i want to share you with you my golden tool or my golden tips and my golden strategy on how to pass your paper one and paper two okay Let's start with paper one. Listen, I'm giving you a tip. Once you have any paper, I don't care that is the prelim or that is the, the final exam. But be careful. That must not be an old, old paper. That has to be a paper from 2021. Whereby, since 2021, mess lit have been changed. Your paper one is finance and data handling and probability paper two is measurements maps and plans and probability so i think it was changed there around 2021 so now the papers from there let me tell you how to pass mostly to nail it focus here question one question two question three of paper one when you go to paper two Focus here. Question one, question two, question three. I'm telling you, this is the strategy that whoever that sets me lead is going to hate me. But I don't care. As long as you guys can make it, you guys can pass. Okay? Listen to this. You see, these three questions, they are going to give you plus minus 90 marks. Plus minus 90 max hmm. giving you a very secret of mess lady. this is my tool hello listen this is my own secret strategy on how i make my learners to pass guys let's speak reality okay you never got the distinction during the year in mess lead what miracle do you think that is going to happen that you get the distinction in final? Okay? So, stick to reality. Don't stick to, to miracles, okay? The miracles are, are, yes, they do happen. But before the miracles can happen, I want you to do this and place this strategy into work and guarantee you that you are going to get a bachelor pass. Okay? You want me to tell you the strategy. My favorite, my jackpot is here my jackpot is here what is my jackpot here my jackpot in question number three i have data handling unless if the examiners now they're going to change because i am sharing the secrets with you in paper two what is the jackpot maps and plans okay so guys when you have any paper before you do paper i mean question four and question five of paper one and question two make sure that you have nailed question one question two and question three leave no stone unturned in these three questions and when we talk about question one and question two here we're going to have finance we're going to have all of these three topics in one question but listen to the cash here the cash is that you are going to have 
low order question that is where you get your two marks the, the two marks the two marks the two marks remember there will never be any ma nine mark in question one any then there will never be any question of nine marks in question number one where do you find those questions you find them in question four and question five okay so you don't need those nine marks to get a bachelor pass in maths lead you need question one question two and question three are we clear? So I want you right now to take your own calculator and say 90 marks, 90 marks divide by 150 multiplied by 100. And tell you, tell me how many percent in paper one are you going to get if you are going to follow this strategy. Sixty percent. It means if you follow my strategy, you are literally working for level five if you follow this strategy you work for level five in mess lead have you ever got that in the whole year face the reality have you ever got that but i am assuring you that with this three question you have 60 percent but listen i don't want you to make a mistake i don't want you to make a mistake to say guru uh made us to see flames you can still do you see uh, my road now my strategy is to start somewhere before you can get somewhere okay so you start at 60 percent in order for you to get the distinction it means that if you can pave your road in question one two three you can literally get more than 60 percent why there are still marks that you're going to collect in question four and question five. Remember question four and question five. They still have those two marks question. You can get them. Okay. Now, listen to me. Since you're going to write, you're preparing. Forget about these two things. Because, you know, my learners in Meslit, you know, I, I feel so much pains because they dwell on things that are, have been difficult for them since the beginning of the year. Forget about this. Tariffs and taxation. I'm not saying you're not going to write them. You are going to write them. I'll tell you what's happening here. You see this? This is your failed relationship. This is a failed relationship. A failure relationship from January you did not understand the tariff and taxation when you are preparing for your exam please you cannot understand them in one night forget them leave them out and where will you find taxation in most cases question four or question five and remember question four and question five without them you can get level five in maths lead I guarantee you a very serious pass. Next year, people, I want to see people coming to me, coming to my YouTube channel to comment, to say, Guru, you are the best. I want to see that. This is the strategy I'm sharing with you. I want everyone who is doing Mesli to nail Mesli this year because of this strategy. Question one, question two, question three. With this three question, you got, more, you got level five. Then you can work on something else. Well, I, I don't care if now you can get level six and level level seven. I don't care. As long as you get, you got more than a bachelor. My strategy have guaranteed you a bachelor. So these are the same thing that you're going to do in paper two. But in paper two now, there's a difference. Okay? There's a difference now. We talk about measurement. We talk about maps and plans. And I've told you that there is also a gold here in question number three that you can take all home maps and plans. The, the, the question three is standing. It's standing on one question to say question number three, I am going to be maps and plans. Okay, so what do you do? Maps and plans, guys, is so simple. You look at the map. Everything relies on the annexure. Read your annex and read that strip chart. Understand it. Read that map that you're going to be given and understand. Your answers will be based on that map. Okay. Sharp. Question one, question two, there will be a measurement. Now, let me tell you what type of a measurement is going to be there. 
the type of the measurement that you're going to find in question one and question two you are going to find conventions That's the type of the measurement. And the measurement that again that you're going to find, you are going to find the basics of measurement. You are going to find calculate the area, calculate the perimeter. That's what you're going to get. Make sure that in paper two, you are good, very good with converting. And I've always used, uh, told my learners that if you want to nail the convention, learn the, the cross multiplication. If you go down my videos there, I've taught measurements, I've taught conventions, and I've shown people how to do the, the convention using the cross multiplication. So scroll down in my videos, you will find those information and deal with them. This year we are passing Meslid with fire by fire by fire by force. You are passing and you are getting level 5 upwards. Follow my strategy. Follow this. Whenever you have a paper one, start here i'm not saying don't do question four and question five do question four and question five but the only way that you're going to do question four and question five start first with question one question two and question three and don't leave any question unanswered they answer everything whether you believe that is wrong or right answer same with paper two question one two three write everything do not leave an do not leave a blank space in there for who for who answer everything there okay this is my strategy believe it or not with this strategy you are getting more than level five in medicine with my strategy follow this strategy whenever you have a question paper right now when you're preparing follow this strategy Start first understanding question. Make sure that in this question paper, I can answer question one and question two, question three. Within 40 minutes, you'll be done. Answering those. If you do that, I'm telling you, after getting your result in January, you'll come to my channel and thank me. May God bless you. May God be with you, protect you all the way in your examinations. This is all that I wanted to share with you. Thank you.